Hey everyone, so today I'm going to show you guys how I take my notes for college for engineering and I use the app GoodNotes so I do all of my note taking on GoodNotes and I don't use any other app. I do all my exporting, importing, everything solely on GoodNotes. So when I start fresh in a term, I like to make a folder and so that's super easy. You just click on the add folder button and you press, you have options between like new folder, new page, new notebook, and I click new folder and I'll title it the term that I'm taking school for that term. And then within the folder, I like to make a notebook for every single class and I'll kind of choose like a fun, there's tons of different like notebook covers you can choose from. You can choose from blank paper, grid paper. I use grid paper because it's like physics and math. There's like dotted paper, agenda paper. There's so many different options and sizes. Okay, so basically when I make my notebooks, I'll make a normal notebook for the class to take, you know, class notes, download the class notes, and then I'll make a separate notebook that's labeled study. And so this notebook is all rough work. So it's all the assignments, and then the actual 220 notebook will be, you know, downloaded PDFs of like actual class notes and things like that. And you can organize it by date, name, and type. And I usually will do it by name because then it organizes it by class. So now moving on to how I organize the actual class notes. And so I like to organize it like this and make an outline for each start of class. So we have lecture one, and then I'll put a little description, pre-lecture one, blah, blah, blah. Here in 250, you can see we've only had two classes, so I just have the two classes here, and if you click to that, it brings you to that notes. If you click to that, it brings you there. So to make something an outline, you basically press the three dots in the top right corner, and you press add this page to outline, and then you just type in the outline, and it adds it with the page number. So this is from my first term, so I'm just gonna show you what my cell biology outline looks like and just how easy it is to kind of go through the different lectures and see all the different information it's super easy so once i have all of my notebooks set up and it's organized into the folder how i like there's the actual note taking so what i'll do is if a class has powerpoint notes or like pre-written template notes and things like that um it's super easy to import anything from google safari canvas or whatever platform your school uses and then once I'm in GoodNotes, I will just directly write onto that PowerPoint and that's how I take my notes. And then if they don't post notes beforehand, I'll just take it on normal grid paper. Another thing I love is when you choose the type of paper you want your notebook to be, you can change that at any time. So you can write all of your notes on grid paper and then click the three dots and click change template to blank paper and it'll change the template to blank paper without altering any of your notes. All right, so now moving on to more like GoodNotes tools that I like to use. So one of the tools that I use literally every single day because I take math and physics is kind of the shapes tool. So when you draw shapes with your Apple Pencil, any type of shape, it'll just automatically straighten it. So it makes drawing graphs and general drawings in general just super fast and easy. So the next tool, I'm not totally sure what it's called, but it's like a little magnifying glass. So basically what happens is when you click it, it'll zoom in a section of the page for you to write. So you write there, so you're writing normal size for you, but then on the actual page, it's writing like way smaller. So it's just a nice way to get really neat um, small writing without actually having to like zoom in a ton and it's really nice because it'll automatically kind of go sideways as you write and then if you start writing to the end of a page it'll automatically go down like if you get to the right of a page it'll automatically go down to the next point on the left of the page so one more thing that you can do is you can take screenshots so i do this all the time when i make my summary notes i'll take screenshots of like you know the heart or different things anatomy whatever i'm doing that i want a picture of and then i'll kind of write directly on there and incorporate it in my notes so i don't waste time like drawing my own pictures you know sometimes that can definitely be helpful but if it's kind of things that are not fully you're not learning from drawing them and it's more just for you to visualize things it's nice to be able to just take a screenshot crop it and import it as a photo and you can just write directly on there and another thing i forgot to mention is the highlighting tool, it also will go on top of imported PDFs and imported photos. And that also has like a straightening effect, which you can turn on and off. So like, if you draw a line, it'll straighten it for you. 
So another great thing about GoodNotes is that if you have an Apple computer, you can only get GoodNotes on Apple products. So if you do have an Apple computer, then you can just download the app and all of your stuff like immediately syncs through iCloud. So if you write something on your iPad, it'll directly go onto your laptop, which is really nice. So sometimes I'll have like one notebook up if it has formulas and things like that on my laptop while I'm working on solving problems in my iPad. And it's just really nice to kind of have all of your information stored in two different places. And I did show you guys how I kind of use GoodNotes on my computer, but I'll just show also how to export the documents as PDFs. So you basically just go here, press select, and then tap whatever you want, export, PDF, export, and then I airdrop it to my laptop to then submit during the exam. Okay guys, so that's it for today's video. Please let me know if there's anything else you would like to know about good notes or any tips for writing your notes and I'll definitely help you guys out. I would love to help. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I will see you in my next one.